All right, so I'm gonna show y'all now how to connect the domain to your website. I already showed you how to make websites in the last tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to actually connect your custom domain, especially for those who wanna bring their site over to our site. And yes, you can create as many websites as you want, not just one. And then if you're in an automation program, you can also create as many funnels as you want. Uh, Farron says, I bought mine and connected it, but it's still not working. How do I publish my website? It's almost done. Perfect, I'm about to go over that for you right now. All right, so I'm gonna go to where I like to get websites from, which is GoDaddy. I think I am on a bro. Oh, no, no, there we go, it's all there now, okay, but. All right, so what we wanna do now is, and I got a discount in my damn email for this email, for this domain that I'm about to buy, so I'm really kinda aggravated that I'm gonna do this without getting that discount. Maybe I can go back and get it retroactively. So anyway, uh, domains don't cost that much no way. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search a domain. So here's what I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy, CleanBizLawyer.com. That's what I'm going to use to partner with my cousin with. All right. I'm going to click search. All right. So, yes, I'm going to make it mine, but I'm not going to do it for five years, even though they want me to. All right. Continue. If it ever gives me a chance, I'll just click it down here because it should go faster. All right. I don't need all of this. I just want to get the domain so I can show y'all what to do. But let me read it just in case. Fine, I'll take that. Uh, all of the rest of this should be good. Continue. Sorry, I meant to buy this beforehand too. All right. Uh, no, I don't want no five years. I'm not trying to do all of that. This thing, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> fun fact. So, if you ever start a brand new venture, I understand we all got big lofty goals, but be as lean as possible starting off. All right. So we can spend ten dollars to get it. We gonna spend ten dollars to get it. All right. Uh, we don't need a website, none of that. We got that through Clean Business Network. All right, so are we ready to pay? I believe we're ready to pay. All right, y'all should be able to see it. So now, after I bought it, they asked me what I want to do next. I don't want to do any of this type of stuff. Leave me alone. I'll do all of this later. So I'm going to click I'll do this later. As soon as I see it, what I'm looking for is DNS records or DNS management. Uh, let's see. Just letting it load. Okay. Managed domain is probably where it's going to be. I scroll down, click on manage domain. We're going to go to probably over here to DNS. So we'll go there. Yeah, see, I knew I was going to do that. So I got to type it all over again, but that's fine. Name is lawyer. All right. So now what we want to do is if you come down here, you see they got all of these different weird looking things like this, right? You got A names, C names, all of that. So from here, the CRM tells you exactly what they need from you. So I'm going to get this out of my way. I'm going to go back to the CRM. All right, we should be on domain names. So I'm in settings, just FYI, I'm in settings. And then I went to domain on that left tab over there. Next, I'm going to click add new domain. And it tells you exactly what to do right here. So first, what I'm going to do is just type in what my domain name is. I already know it. Typically, when I do stuff like this, I never type. I copy and paste everything because I don't want to make no mistakes. But I'm going to just go ahead and wait and take that gamble this once for y'all. So clean this lawyer.com okay so i'm gonna put that there but don't do anything yet until you do these things that they're telling us to do so first thing is it says you can put an a record pointing to this uh ip address or you can put a c name record pointing to this domain here you don't i wouldn't say do or i say do both all right because sometimes when you do one or the other you get the results that i got right now with my main site cleanbiznetwork.com and so if they don't, if you don't put www in front of cleanbusinessnetwork.com for whatever reason, it doesn't work, and I still need to take my time out of my day to talk to GoDaddy about that. But anyway, and I got both of them set up. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. This was for the A name record. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go to Add New Record. I'm going to click A name. I'm gonna put at. My bad, I clicked the wrong button. At the value is this. Then I'm gonna leave that at default and click Save. Right, so you see it's a success. And I guessed on that at, I can't remember if I was supposed to put that at there or not, but I think I did it right. All right, next we're gonna do the C name record. So I'm gonna copy that. And so for the C name record, instead of putting at, we'll put www in that spot. So I did guess it right. All right, so then we're gonna go click add new domain name record again. For the C name, 
to www. GW. Paste that little link they gave us. And I'm going to leave that at default. Click save. If you don't want to put default, you can know what will happen. Record www conflicts with another record. Well, what do we already have here? We don't have www clean with the lawyer. Let me read this. What does it say over here? Sometimes they'll tell you to delete one if you already got one. C name record pointing to this or www domain. Okay, so what I will try. I will try is I'll leave it. I'll leave it the way they have it because it should. They, like they did say that we only needed one and not both. I always do both. But what I will say is if this, if you needed to delete this one and put theirs because it'll still point to the same thing. But for now, I'm going to leave this here because it's still going to go to www.cleanbizlawyer.com. And then we do got the A name record there, which, which is important. So I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to go to save up here. Oh, and what I was about to tell you about the TTL, the default thing, I'm just going to say if you don't want to do default, do half. It's just how fast that they're going to propagate the stuff. So leave this alone. Delete that. All right, we're good. All right, so that should be set up. Now that we have it added to our Go High Level account on our Clean Business Network CRM account, I'm going to click Add here. So get off of that and just click Add because we did add the A name, so it should connect. So if you click Add, it didn't work. Couldn't find C name, so I got to do the C name. All right, so let's do the C name and we'll delete the other one and see if it works now. Copy that. All right, now I'm going to add the C name record again. W. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, perfect. Now, let's go back to where we were. That's there. Everything looks should be good. I'm going to click add. Now we all good. See why I say do both and they say it only do or, but it's both. All right. So from here, once you add it, and this is the part you want to watch, friends, since you just asked about this. If you already created a website or a funnel, if you click this drop down arrow here, you can find the one that you already clicked the name of it, and it'll be there. You just connect it. So click the one you want to connect it to. And it's going to be there. So I'm going to click this one that says residential and commercial cleaning. Then it's going to say which uh, which step in the funnel. Oh, that's a funnel. So if it's a funnel, they're going to ask you what step in the funnel you want to be the default page. I'm going to see if I can find a website. Pretty sure that was a website, though. But either way, they're just going to ask you which page within that funnel or that website you want to connect to. So I'm just going to put this one that like is a home page. And then for this, so this right here just asking you to set a 404 error page. I always just set mine to whatever my home page was. I only have them four or four error pages. So click link domain. And we all good. So now you're not done yet, though. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to the main menu out of the settings. And what you want to do now is you want to go down to sites. All right. If you're a basic member, you probably don't have that membership tab. I know mine look a little bit different than yours, but basically the same thing, all right? If you wanted to see what those other features are, then upgrade. All right, so now I'm in my websites tab. So what I'm going to do now is go to websites because that's where I connected it to was a website and not a funnel. And then I connected it to the residential and commercial cleaning website. So I'm going to click on that. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go click on this because I just missed see if it actually so i don't want to edit none of the pages or anything on the site i'm just going to click that and now you can see queenbizlawyer.com is connected to that actual site now so if you want to x that out i'm gonna show you something else now if you want to do let's just go to settings real quick because what you do want to do is not if you want to you have to do this uh number one you want to name your site because if you notice when I opened up the site, I'll do it again to show you, hopefully it'll open in another tab. It did, perfect. So if you notice, well, this ain't gonna really explain it, but if I click a different like page within the website, it's gonna have each page is like, all right, I'll show you. You see how at the top of this title here, it says that at the top of the tab. 
Well, you can edit that by changing the name of the actual tab. So instead of having to say that, you can just put Queen Biz Lawyer there, right? And have it show a particular way. Also the path. The path is what it says after your actual domain name. So if we come over here, you see how it says commercial clean, commercial dash cleaning. If you come over here, commercial dash cleaning. So you can change that and just put uh, service one or something like that, which commercial dash cleaning would be a better subdomain, but I'm just trying to show you. All right. So what I've said, uh, service one. All right. And then favicon. So the favicon is this, that little picture at the top of the tab. You want to put a favorite, you just want to link to an image here. So how do you link to an image? I'll do that in another tutorial. But basically, if you have, let's just say you could find your logo somewhere on the internet, you search it in Google Images. If you right click on that image and click open image link, copy that link that you open and then just paste that link here. All right. There's another way to do it as well because you have a whole, actually it's right here in this media tab. So if you click, actually, I'll show it to you in a few. Give me a second. All right. So we scroll down. Payment mode. So if you have any type of website payments active on your website, then you definitely want to set that to live. All right. And then that's connected with your Stripe or whatever type of, of uh, financial account that you've connected it with. The chat widget. Remember where I told you that we can turn on the chat widget on your website, whether you have it hosted here or whether you have it hosted somewhere else. And you can manage your chat widget over here. All right, but you could turn it on or off for this particular site or this particular page for that matter, because I can't remember if it's on a page or on the whole. Yeah, this is the whole site I mentioned. All right. Uh, now, if you wanted to change your domain name, you can. So remember how we set it up. We didn't set it up through the actual website setting, which we would imagine that's where it would be, right? Instead, we had to go to settings, go to domains, and then just connect the domain to the actual, into your actual account and Coinbase network. But once you connect, connect multiple do domains to your particular account, they will all show up here. So you can change this at any time, but you just got to connect the domain name to the account. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. And don't forget, we changed this from commercial dash cleaning to service one. So I'm going to save this just to show you how it updated. So I'm going to just come over here, click refresh. It should do it instantly. Hopefully it don't embarrass me in front of company. And it did. Maybe if I try it one more time. All right. So maybe if I X this out and start it fresh. But anyway, I'm sure it's not a big deal to y'all, but I just want to make sure that y'all see what I'm saying, like what controls what, basically. There you go. Now it did it. All right. So there's that. The other thing I wanted to show you was the favicon. All right. But so how you can change that is if you go to media, every single time that you edit a web page, a funnel, anything within your site, it's going to save all your media, whether it's videos or pictures, into your media library here. All right. So if you open media library, you'll see a bunch of different pictures here. Now, a lot of these pictures are just going to be here because I gave y'all, uh, I set y'all up with some test websites and funnels anyway. So that all, most of these pictures are from that test website. All right. But let's just say you wanted to use this picture. I'm going to see if I can remember how to do it. Here it is right there. So if you just click on it once and you click copy to uh, clipboard, that's the link. OK, so you copy that link to the clipboard. Then we're going to go back and we're going to go. I guess it took us completely out of website section. So now I got to go. Yes, yeah, so they took us in settings and all of that. Let's go to back again. And we're going to go down to websites one more time. We're going to sites. We're going to go to. Websites. Back to the one we were working on, which was Claim His Lawyer. Forgot I changed the name of it. Then we're going to go to settings. And then right there where that favicon URL was, we just paste that link that we just copied. And you can tell it's the right link because it says PNG there. We know that's a picture type of file. All right, so I'm going to save that. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to test it out. So let's see if it actually shows up with the favicon. And it did. It ain't the prettiest, but it's there. All right. And so, by the way, so tips for favicons. It should tell you here. Let's see if it does. Go back to settings. I think favicons are supposed to be 15 by 15 in pixel size. So if your thing is looking all bad like this, you just open up that image in Canva, resize it, and save it to the pixel size that you need to put it at. 
until it's the right size and it looks fine. But me personally, I don't care. You can look at that and see it still look like some CBN logo going on up in there. So, <laughs> but it's up to you if you want to take the time and make it perfect. 